Good morning and welcome to Zion Lutheran School. Our school has been in the basement of our church since January of 1981. And we started out in January of 1981 with two staff and one student. And yes, that student was the director's child. She didn't have a choice and you do. So we are so glad that you came today to take a look at our school. We're going to talk today about many, many things, and all of that information is available at other points at our website. And so as we're going along, you don't have to take notes. As we go about our tour today, we're going to talk about what your child's going to do here at Zion School. We offer programs for two, three, four, and five-year-olds here at Zion. The children may come Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, Tuesday, Thursdays, or five mornings a week. Children who are two, three, and four year old uh, may come on um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings, Tuesday, Thursday mornings, or five mornings a week. Children who are five year olds may come Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, all day. We'll get into a little bit more about what the qualifications are for coming, uh, all those programs, in just a little while. I am here in my 11th year as director at Zion. I'm not a teacher. I leave that up to many other people. What I am is a nurse. I've been a nurse since 1981 and I still carry my license and I still stay current with my CEUs. So what you get at Zion is a well-rounded program. You get educational criteria and you get medical intervention into that criteria. So your children are being taught not only by developmental educational criteria, but also by what their little brains are able to absorb. Our nursery school is open from 7.30 in the morning until 5.30 in the afternoon every single day. But your children come to nursery school for class starting at nine in the morning. Nursery school hours are from nine to 11.30 for the morning classes. And we also offer class in the afternoons, but for only three-year-olds and four-year-olds. And that class starts at 12.30 and runs till 3 p.m. We are, of course, a Christian-based nursery school. We're in the basement of a Lutheran church. But this school has never been about making more Lutherans. We accept all children into our nursery school program. You'll see as we walk through the building signs of Christ in every classroom. We share space with our Sunday school, but there'll be crosses and there'll be Sunday school artwork and there'll be signs of Jesus everywhere. But we share that space willingly and enthusiastically with our Sunday school. Um, the children here at Zion School pray before their snacks and before their lunch here at school. And we usually use uh, God is great, God is good as our first prayer that we teach the children when they come to school. If that's not part of your regular practice at home, it probably will become that because the children will get used to praying before they take part in a meal. So you might find that as uh, something that the children will say, oh no mom, we can't eat when we're starting it at home. Mrs. D says we have to pray before it's time to eat. So that's just something that's going to come from school back to home. Okay, we're going to get started very shortly. We're going to take a walk down the hallway and see some classes and see some kids. Thanks so much for coming out to see the school today. This is a typical threes and four classroom. On Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, four-year-olds gather here, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays, three-year-olds come for class. And in these classrooms, when this is a four-year-old classroom, there would be 14 children here a certified teacher and a teaching assistant. On Tuesdays and Thursdays when there are three-year-olds, threes here, there would be 13 children in the class with also a certified teacher and a teaching assistant. My teachers are uh, certified in uh, Bachelor of Science degrees in early childhood or elementary education. Some of them are even masters prepared. My teaching assistants the qualification is a high school diploma, but many, many of my teaching assistants are actually parents who have come through program with college degrees. What I do here at Zion is I offer 100% tuition remission if you work for me at Zion and have a child enrolled in school. So they saw a great opportunity to have children enrolled in program 
and work a part-time job. And so after their kids graduate, they stayed on because I have a very low turnover rate in my staff here at Zion. I have faculty members here at Zion who have been here as long as 26 years working for Zion Lutheran School. So we have a very, very low turnover rate here within the staff. To recap, three-year-old program, three-year-old children coming to school will see the same two faces every day they come to Zion School for the entire school year and they will have 12 other classmates for a total of 13 children in their class. Four-year-old children will come, have a certified teacher, a teaching assistant, and will have a total of 14 children in their classroom. Other additional credentials for my staff would include uh, everyone being certified in infant child CPR and airway management, and everyone has been cleared with their felony background checks and their child abuse clearances. And I have done those clearances personally myself. So therefore, uh, also being director for the last 11 years, I've hired many of them myself. So we have folks on staff here who are in their second year of either teaching or teaching assistants all the way up to 26 years. So you can be assured that we have a great mix of staff working here with your children. Let's touch base about what kind of a day your child's going to have here at Zion. You're going to drop them off to the classroom every single day at 9 o'clock in the morning and try to shoot for 9 o'clock in the morning. The doors are going to open electronically at 8.58. We try to do a short drop off. 8.58 to 9.05 would be like a range that you could shoot for. You're going to be able to bring them right to the classroom so you have a little face-to-face -face time with the staff every single day to touch base. That's a great way to communicate with my staff and we like to have that time every single day to do that. Bring the children into the classroom, give a great hug and a kiss to say goodbye and then let your children join the group. Every single day in every single classroom, children here at Zion get to select what they want to do to start their day. A little bit of free play every day. It is very empowering to children in this age group to be able to decide what they want to do. That's a great way to start their day. In about 15 minutes, it's time for a transition and every classroom will transition into a different schedule. Scheduling is the name of the game. When you have 216 children coming to a nursery school, it is time for scheduling, and that's my job. Things that these kids will start to do are things like going to music, going to recess, going to activity room, which is the place where we do messy crafting. They may have circle time here on a rug in their classroom where they will do show and tell, where they will hear a story read to them, where we will begin reading comprehension with them. There are many, many activities that start the day here at Zion by 9.20 every morning. The children learn early on that whatever toys they've gotten out, they need to pick up and put away. And not only the toys they've been playing with, but the toys their friends have been playing with too. That's an expectation and they learn it early on and they will bring it home to you. So that's another added benefit. Once the children transition into their new experience, things will move right along for the rest of the day. Kids here at Zion every single day will have snack, which the parents provide on a rotating basis. They will have recess every day for about 20 to 25 minutes, either outside on our beautiful newly renovated playground or upstairs in our social hall if the weather is below 40 degrees or inclement in any way. And they will also have at some point during the day some kind of a reading experience and music in the classroom. Once a week, the children will go to music in our music room. They will line up as a class, they will go down the hallway, and they will see our music teacher, Mrs. Beth Pilsicki. And they do all kinds of fun things at music. They will also have the opportunity to be signed up for lunch every day if you choose to do that. And that is a first come, first serve opportunity for the children to have socialization with their friends in something other than classroom time. That's another opportunity that you folks can take advantage of. And many, many children, upwards of 100 kids a week, have the opportunity and take advantage of Lunch Bunch here at Zion. Incoming three-year-olds to Zion School do need to be potty trained. 
and that is developmentally believe it or not a task that they can do every classroom here at zion is scheduled at some time during the morning to go to the bathroom and that is another opportunity when they will line up and go on down the hallway to take their turn if at any time during the morning, other than their scheduled time to go to the bathroom, they need to use the facilities, they just ask the teachers in the room, the teaching assistant, or at sometimes even volunteer parents who are in the classroom. And they will be escorted to the bathroom, waited on and brought back here to the classroom. No child goes anywhere in our school alone, ever. It doesn't happen. Our threes program primarily focuses on social skills, but we do have an introduction to academics and in our curriculum for the threes, they will start the academics, but in a very low key fun manner. They'll use music, they'll do the alphabet in song. And when your threes come home and you say to them, what'd you learn today? They're gonna say nothing, I didn't learn anything thing but they really are learning an accomplishment that those threes are going to have by the end of the school year is they're going to recognize their name in print when the kids come back as fours we're really going to start preparing them for kindergarten that's what you're going to want us to be doing for them the pre-k program here at Zion is focused on preparing them to get ready for kindergarten and we have a very strong curriculum that's still centered in fun, but is in many ways focused on what those kindergarten teachers are going to expect of them. What you and I learned in second grade, these children are doing in kindergarten. So while we are not a workbook school, we are still focused in fun. However, we are going to prepare your children to go out into the world and sit down in a classroom of 20 or 21 kids with one teacher and be able to follow a two and three part direction and pre-read when they leave Zion school and go to public or parochial school. You will be very pleased with how well we have your children prepared to enter kindergarten. Zion school is open from 7.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. And in addition to the children coming for nursery school between 9 and 11.30 or from 12.30 to 3, you have available to you the opportunity to have the children stay for what we call extended care. And that extended care can be either early in the morning from 7.30 to 9 or also from 11.30 to 5.30 or after the afternoon class from 3 to 5.30. And Part of the opportunity uh, for fun and extended care is computer class, which runs on Mondays and Wednesdays from 1 to 3 in the afternoon. And as you can see behind me, the children are enjoying computer class today. Extended care is flexible, and it's so flexible that you can use it once during the course of the entire school year, or you can use it every single day that your child comes to Zion. On the days that your child is enrolled, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, for example, your child can be here at Zion from 7.30 until 5.30, or any of the hours in between. You just need to let Peggy or I know in the office what those hours are. But also, on the off days, say Tuesday or Thursday, your child could come from 11.30 in the morning, the end of nursery school, until 5.30 in the afternoon. Again, once during the course of the school year or every Tuesday and Thursday throughout the course of the school year. You just need to let us know. And we need very little notice for that. So you could call us the day before. We've even had parents call us the morning of to let us know they need that care. Once you're in the family here at Zion, we wanna be able to help in that capacity. So once you're here, we wanna be here for you. This is our toddler room. This room is two year olds five days a week. So it can get really hectic in here. The ladies who work this room have been together, the teacher and the teaching assistant, working together with two-year-olds five days a week for 11 years. They're experts working with the youngest students here at Zion. In this classroom, you will have 11 two-year-olds and the certified teacher and the teaching assistant working together. Some years we have two-year-olds Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 
Tuesday, Thursday, and we have a five day a week class as well. This year, I not only had uh, two year olds five days a week, I also had three Tuesday, Thursday classes of two year olds. In all, 44 two year olds coming here to Zion School. That's a lot of twos. These youngest students here at Zion do everything that the older kids do. They play together, they do arts and crafts, they get line up, go down the hallway to music, they line up, they go outside to recess or upstairs to our indoor recess room, they stay for lunch bunch, they stay all day for extended care. They do every single thing that the older kids do and they get it, they totally get it. Being a two here at Zion is all about learning to be away from mom and dad. And sometimes it's about mom and dad learning about being away from their twos as well. We are experts at nurturing these youngest students. So when they come and enroll at Zion, have the utmost of confidence that we're going to take the best of care of your little ones. When they come here to school, they're going to come at 9 o'clock just like all the other students. But they're going to be dismissed a little earlier. They're going to go home at 11.15. So you're going to drop off to the classroom at 9, but you're also going to come back into the school at 11.15 and pick your students up, your two-year-old students up, right from the classroom. The threes, the fours, and the five-year-old students here at Zion are brought back outside to the parents at 11.30 at the end of the day for nursery school in the morning or at 3 o'clock for nursery school in the afternoon. We find that that is a safe situation for the older students, but for the youngest students, we like the parents to come back into the classroom and pick those students up. In terms of what the two-year-olds are doing here in the classroom, they're getting used to not being the center of attention. Twos, of course, feel that they are all about themselves, and that's developmentally what they should be doing. However, they need to learn to get along with other twos. So our two-year-old program is very social, and they're learning to be part of a group. We have a huge room here. There's a mirror classroom across the hallway. All the toys are developmentally appropriate for two-year-olds. We have our own bathroom facilities in these classrooms. Our walk-up changing stations are here as well, and there is no expectations that your two-year-olds be potty trained the entire school year. If you are potty training, we will use your technique. If you're using stickers as an incentive, we'll do stickers. If you're using M&Ms, which personally worked at the Detweiler household, we'll use M&Ms as well. So come on down and bring your twos to Zion School. We're gonna take very good care of your kids. Welcome to our fives classroom. This classroom is for children who are by birthday able to go to kindergarten, but for either academic reasons, social emotional reasons, or a combination of both, the parents and our teaching team here at Zion have decided that it's probably a good idea for those kids to have another year here. This classroom has been designed specifically for them and it includes things that are pre-K age related and also kindergarten age related. And the curriculum itself was designed specifically to include both of those things. The children will do some pre-K level review and then they're going to venture into some kindergarten age level work. Unlike now, these doors are always closed because here at Zion, this is an all locked door school. We take security here at Zion very seriously. And these doors leading into the school from the outside or upstairs and down from the church main office are always locked when school's in session. The only time the doors are open are at drop off at 9 a.m. and the door will unlock by computer from 8.58 until 9.10. And again, for the afternoon class, it will unlock at 1225 and lock up again at 1235. Other than that, you need to ring our doorbell. We take security so seriously 
that part of your application process, you will name for us other people that you trust to pick your children up. And on a day when someone other than the parents are picking up, you will tell your teacher that that's going to happen. When pickup time arrives, the alternate pickup person will need to show us their driver's license. And we will match the name that you give us with the face. That's the only way we will release a child into someone other than their parents' care. If for some reason an emergency should occupy all the folks that you have given us as alternate pickup people, we will not release your child to anyone. They will stay here at Zion free of charge until someone that you have told us you trust can come and pick your children up. Lunch Bunch is an opportunity to extend your day for your child by an hour and a half and it's open for every student of the school, ages two through five. It is a first come, first serve sign up, and all you need to do is either talk to your classroom teacher or stop in the office to see Peggy or I, and we'll get you all signed up. The children will eat with either children in their classroom or other children of their same age, and we have close to 100 kids a week who stay and eat lunch here at Zion. We like to say, you provide the lunch and we'll provide the fun. The kids eat in about six different lunch rooms and they will have lunch together and then they will go out to play or do arts and crafts or do floor puzzles. Whatever the lunch ladies decide is the fun for the day. This would be the activity room, one of the lunch rooms that we utilize here at Zion and the teachers and teaching assistants think up something special every single day for the kids to do during lunch. So come on down and sign up for Lunch Bunch. The kids will be really happy that you did. We are Lunch Bunch! Zion is one big family and every family needs help. So we welcome parent involvement here in our classrooms starting in October when the children have been well adjusted to their classes. The teachers may ask for your help, I may ask for your help in my monthly newsletters. So if you have availability to come and help us in our classrooms, we would dearly love to have you come and volunteer and help us do all sorts of things, arts and crafts, read stories to the children, go on our field trips in our pre-K four-year-old classrooms. So if you can help us here at Zion, we would really like your help. Here at Zion, we like to remember the learning starts when the fun begins.